Welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. We're going to do the final episode, Episode 5. And after that, that's it for this game. We're completely done. I, I'm still at the beginning of the game, so I haven't, like, finished it fully. So, yes. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend... <coughs> such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. A the better Jesse. <sighs> and now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! to fortify these tunnels into town. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... Well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess. She still scared me, though. She already helped us a lot. The portal buying us time to get up here. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. <coughs> Maybe Sara's lucky being where she is right now. No. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the admin. I'm just glad friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that that heck mouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others, to our home. Hey, no one is going to end up like Fred. But how do you know? Fred didn't know just how bad Romeo was, so he underestimated him. We can learn from the people who came before us. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah. I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go.
Okay, now see, now with lava is messed up. <coughs> guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is. The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Oh, typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! <laughs> City, and now, one less thing to worry about. My... my friends and... Psst, Olivia! Axel! Oh my gosh! I knew it! I just knew it! <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh! Jesse, I... what is... Come on, I'll explain everything. Off the streets. To the map shop. Quick. You just got it. You just got here. <clears throat> knows that what if everyone in beacon town turns on you i mean with what just happened outside axel and i almost did and we're your oldest friend i mean if we couldn't tell <sighs> look the admin is good but he's not good enough to have everyone fooled right it's a pretty good jesse impression i mean a totally evil version but yeah but you said there's a way to stop this guy Right? <laughs> Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. It's insane. Nobody should have that much power. 
add it to the list <coughs> of the horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. So glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. <laughs> Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. Safer than being out in the open. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. You okay there, Jack? Ugh. Fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. I don't know if it was the admin, looters, what I... Uh. I promise, Jack, we're gonna get everything back once we defeat the admin. Yeah, you're right. Probably just fixating on this to distract myself. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. I'm surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. We're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Champion City has me a little more worried than I'd like. You know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Hey, Binta. Adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. better for gliding. What was that? Sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah! Ah! 
Ivor, what on earth were you just doing? Hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you! Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Oh, this is so totally embarrassing. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor? Just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor? Of the Order of the Stone? Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes. Of course it is. And you are... Oh, me? Oh, I'm, uh, the, uh, the, uh, stock, the, uh, stab, well, from the... I'm, uh... <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello! Always nice to meet a fan. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. You fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. My story about you dying in your escape attempt? Admin loved it. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult and took many, many days of intense mental activity. Well, you're a hero, Nurm. Jack should watch out. You might start stealing his glory. Nurm, the Sunshine Rock. Mm. Now that the team is back together, no, Ivor, no. we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. I'm glad it's easy to find, but it's floating up in the air. Indeed, which, ooh, poses a problem, perhaps? Just, uh, you sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. You, wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. <coughs> Jack said we need fireworks which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event. Yes. Isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We never get backstage without fireworks skill uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom, backstage passes. Once we're there, let's swipe some fireworks. doing you're gonna be getting me a bucket of water we'll get to that while we're getting the fireworks Axel and Olivia will distract the admin are you sure I can't just blow up the stage uh, that would be distracting Axel then we wait until the big fireworks finale the what it's Romeo I promise you there will be a huge fireworks finale Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was 
wondering what it was for. And the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows See? Piece of cake. That might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin! You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but. Be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Time to find Stella. Ocelot? What is that for? Uh-huh. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Searched everywhere for you. Stop there. <clears throat> I present to you the newest Jesse Khan volunteers. They await your orders. Not the brightest quartet in the bunch, but uh, well, they're golems, so just give them an order and they'll do whatever you need. You have to ask, send them to their posts. Right. I am so sorry to have disturbed you over such a small matter. You heard our mighty leader. To your posts. Nothing's blown up in my absence. Keep your eyes peeled for unhappiness. <sighs> okay, so he just pops in whenever he wants to. I better find Stella fast before the admin finds me. Hey, why did you destroy his home? What did Champion City do to you? Destroying homes left and right. Absolutely no regard for people's lives. What kind of leader is that? You dare question me? Oh, no, 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 no. Very sorry. Praise be Jesse. Oh, I need this to end once and for all. <laughs> I did it, Jesse. 
I did what you ask. Now there are pork chops for everyone. Would you like to taste one? I made it myself. They're fresh. No, no thank you. And you know what? You could change to carrots if you wanted. I'll... I'll do that. Thank you, Jesse. Maybe... Maybe I'll get some new pigs, hmm? I'll name them Dennis and Countess Pink Paisley the Fourth. <laughs> Hope that didn't get this guy in trouble. Oh man, Romeo. Jesse, dude, just unveiled the new statue you built. Oh, yeah, it's got um character. Yeah, I kind of liked the old one, but whoa, hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> yeah. It is pretty great, isn't it? I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go with your gut, totally. <laughs> by to once again admire the update I did to my paltry first attempt at a statue. I really feel it's some of my best work. Yup, yup, coolio. Just keeping it the way it is forever. <laughs> yup. Keep it, uh, hanging, Nelly dude. Catch you on the flip side. And hire more people. Force them, conscript them, I don't care. Jesse Klein will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo, that's our ticket in. It's now or never. Perfect, now we can... Oh, gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse, back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you... Hmm, you're not the admin, are you? Hmm? Hmm? Come on, of course I'm the admin. I'm absolutely, completely, totally the admin. Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. Surely you have a reason I'm not seeing. 
Honestly, Stella, there wasn't time to tell you. I'm sorry. Oh, I get it. Didn't want to implicate me in your dangerous scheme. No, we just really didn't get around to telling you. Oh, yes, I know. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the... No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left! Olivia and Axel with me, don't I? Oh. Who are you? Yes, thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah, totally. The resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Binta? The admin. He's right there, right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused, killing Fred, inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly, seeing that smile. Could it be useless? There aren't any weapons that can even touch him right now. Our only hope is getting that word of passage up to the tower. You're right. Attacking him now would only doom us all. And as... Uh, Jesse, you're Jesse. I'm glad we... Let's go to work. Of course it was mandatory, but I sense that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding how important I am to you. No one permitted back here except... Fireworks Union, huh? Jeez, well, get back there, then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. No fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? That's like planning a birthday party without... You know. See? The admin's human. He's messy, just like us. Yeah, he's a slob. Big whoop. But what are we supposed to do with no fireworks? I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Huh. A copy of Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan. At least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? This one should give me a blue star shape. Very cool. Ooh, 
sugar cane. brighter. Cows are happier. Pie is sweeter. I actually don't even think it's possible for you to thank me enough. Okay, once I've got a bucket, that'll be the perfect spot to fill her up. Guess that's part of the show. Admin Me has taste in after-speech entertainment. Stupid. Gunpowder. Perfect. How are those fireworks coming? Oh, they're coming. This place is just kind of messy. Well, just be like the noble light of truth and shine through the darkness of the mess. Only then will you scatter the shadows and reveal your goal. Yeah, I'll work on that. Good to hear, friend. I'll keep on keeping an eye out. Hey, you hearing this, doof? Which proves I'm the greatest thing ever to happen in all your lives. Let's look at the mathematical proof. What a self-absorbed... Ugh. Only for a little while longer. Yeah, we'll get Beacon Town back. I can feel it. Okay, let's get crafting. hurt the admin yet, but we can still take out his goons. We've come too far to second-guess ourselves, and we can't let anyone get in our way. Nice one, Binta. Let's see. Ha! <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. Okay, all strapped in, fireworks ready. Hey, hey, hey! Jesse, I think. 
just need to... Oh, perfect. Just what I needed. Ah! Too slow, dummy! Come at me, ugly. Close. Okay, time to get the others. What was I glad to see that waterfall? Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Don't be fooled, guys. If it's this quiet on our way to depower the admin, then it's gotta be a trap. Well, I'm not seeing anything trap-ish yet, but I'll keep an eye out. Down, ocelots. Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That that's enough. Oops. S sorry. Oh man, I am so happy to see you. I can't believe how long it's been. What are you talking about? We just talked the other day, remember? Your whole speech about how if I couldn't get in line, I could just hit the road. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah! And telling us our builds were ugly. It wasn't me that locked you all up. It was the admin. Wait. What? No, you said you defeated the admin. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... That wasn't really you. Lucas, you know how much I care about you. I could never hurt you. <laughs> There's the Jesse I know. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the terminal. We have a word of passage. <coughs> Potato. That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the potato, but I'm in. You just lead the way, 
and the new ocelots will have your back. Well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Let's ride, Swordbreaker. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so here I am. Jesse. Troops are getting restless back here. Ocelot, charge! <laughs> Excuse me? Nope, 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 nope. Big nope. What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja, Ivor, told me you were dead. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. And that's your fault. It's called a hustle, admin. And you fell for it hook, line, and sinker. What better way to sneak back into Beacon Town right under your, uh, my nose? Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant. What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, a uh, Jesse. Ugh, talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... combat, dueling, build-offs! I want to talk, because I know there's still good in you, Romeo. And I think that if we talk this out, maybe we can come to an understanding. You... you really think that? Yeah. I know I was all fiery and mad when you first showed up, but it's just as well. Blimey! I had no idea being you was going to be this difficult! Wait, what? Oh yeah! I'm, I'm, I'm bloody exhausted! The, the constant whining, everyone asking for things all the time. Ugh, it's insufferable! I need iron blocks! Oh, man, it breaks. I don't want to be surrounded by lava. Well, I'm back now. I, I, I can help you take back over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah. It's just... But it was fun at first. I'd show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just... Asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, maybe that is the best way to proceed. What's your angle here? This is a trick, right? Nope. No tricks, no angles, no games. Just good old Romeo telling it like it is. <sighs> well, this has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. 
Next time... Yeah, the, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm gonna get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader. A great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these... These wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe... Maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. Oh, I love a good fjord! Romeo, please, give this world another chance. One more chance. Could. Would have to. But won't. Shan't. This way is easier for me. Oh, well. Toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah, he just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew, such a jerk. Here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, uh. I, uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Hashtag potato 451! It was, uh, it was a good thought, but... Uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! Oh. It's just more of his stupid recordings. You selected password protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait. He has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. He 
is that? Please enter your password to begin a new program. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato 451. Huh, what is this thing? Now what does it have to do with potato 451? Five, one. Okay, okay, that sounds like progress, right? It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato, please? Acquiring potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison. But it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Gotta figure out which one is correct. Guess we need to put something in there to get this thing going. I hope this is right. Parrot party protocol initiated. Uh, I'm uh I'm guessing that's not quite right. Agreed. Sorry, parrots. And there we go. Was that a good thud or a bad thud? It's... Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well... I guess the worst has happened, and you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Zara. You're... I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, what do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done. No take that. Nice. Jesse, hurry. Take back. 